Hi, Dave here, and we have a new episode uh, of the uh, art review series. And uh, this time, we're going to take a look at the work of Evan Lee. Now, Evan Lee is uh, <laughs> is an amazing artist, and um, I'll show you why. Um, his style is kind of rubbing off on me and uh, I will provide links to his website and his art station and he also thankfully he has a, uh, a YouTube channel and um, he, uh, he doesn't re he doesn't really talk in English I think so uh, but the videos itself are good enough for you to kind of understand his process and he has a lot of like studies um tackling like different kinds of fabrics animals um and stuff like that and y y you'll get a good kind of idea of what his kind of approach is and um i don't know i think you'll be inspired if you do watch his um videos in his um youtube channel um so yeah, uh, I don't really know much about the guy because, of course, you know, I stopped doing, you know, like heavy research. Well not, well, not heavy, but usually I do some kind of basic research about the artist, but uh, whatever. <laughs> you know, I did check out his website um, and he does have a gallery page. However, I was going to use that to uh, do this art review. However... It was a scroll type of gallery and I noticed that when I was kind of doing a test run that I was starting to have a kind of uh, I don't know I was having motion sickness because of the, uh, the scroll feature so we're just going to take a look at his um, art station All right here we go Ooh. um so this one is sort of a hybrid piece. Now you could check out it's it's a YouTube. He has a YouTube uh, video of his process where he starts out in Blender, and then he does a Photoshop kind of a uh, cleanup in the end. And uh, if you check out, say, oops, sorry about that. If you check out his uh, kind of uh, paintings and stuff, you'll often see his or some kind of line in the. Um, and uh, uh, as a kind of a kind of the gesture line of the figure usually and to me it's it gives that feeling of uh of a human touch because sometimes things can look very uh, digital and very kind of uh, it's almost as if you can touch you can't touch it right but if you add some kind of sketch line or some i don't know mistakes it's ma it makes your art a little more <laughs> I don't know human and it's one of the kind of staple uh, characteristics of his style and I think he has some kind of novel uh, here is him using blender um, <laughs> for example this dragon has some kind of line now obviously for this one I think it's he's using this line as a kind of stylistic element and um, if you look at his paintings, the lines usually go first, and he just kind of he he just leaves it in the end, and he doesn't really try to fix anything. And I think that's the appeal in his um, work. But uh, I think he figured out that it's also a pretty good kind of a visual look to include the lines after, because he does use um, 3D stuff, and I think it helps him just be more um, <laughs> um, efficient. And yeah, I think he's using Blender for the most part. Um, is this? Uh, I think it's Blender. Um, so yeah. So here's I think more of his uh, um, comics or graphic novel. I'm not so sure, but uh, you can definitely definitely see his kind of painting style. It's uh, he uses a lot of kind of soft brushes, and. You can see a lot of kind of uh, gradients within the um, the silhouette of the figures, and it's not super hard edged, as say. I think in the art digital art industry, there is a lean more towards hard edge stuff, 
I feel. Um, yep. Yeah. I mean, there are a few guys who do some kind of soft stuff or girls. Um, and I think it's usually kind of in the anime kind of style. For example, Sakimi-chan or the Wolop. <laughs> Wolop. W-L-O-P. Wolop. Wolop guy. Um, they use a lot of these soft brushes in the beginning. Well, not the, in the beginning, but kind of throughout the process, the rendering process. And yeah, I think it's usually kind of a anime thing. <laughs> anyway, let's move on. Ooh, by the way, Evan Lee, um, he does this kinds of awesome... Oh, this one got... I think this one got removed by YouTube because... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, uh, he does a lot of these kind of android um, kind of sex doll stuff. <laughs> and you'll see in his work, I mean, if you zoom in, it looks really freaking good, man. Um, again, you'll see the softness in his um, rendering style and maybe some hard stuff. Even for his like me mechanical parts, he does uh, apply the kind of soft brush stuff. And because uh, not everything in that kind of metal piece is exactly like angled, you know, there are kind of soft, softened parts. And you'll see again in this kind of contours or uh, yeah, it's kind of a mix between a contour and a gestural line. And it's super cool. And it's very, his, sti his style is very, <laughs> or oral intercourse, his style is very, um, I don't know, it stands out to me. And uh, So here's more of his comics or novel-ish and uh, you can check it out um, and I think if for the for this kind of stuff he's probably not having a difficult time doing these things because uh, if you check out again his YouTube channel you can tell his confidence I mean this guy is a pro um, so yeah <laughs> Again with the Android stuff and uh, it's uh, is actually pretty cool. Um, so he did some kind of basic 3D and then he just added those babes after. And he loves playing with the boobs and I mean of course he's kind of exaggerating it to a, <laughs> a different level. However, I love the way he makes it look natural and not exactly um, kind of spherical. Like he adds some kind of gravity, some gravitational elements to it. And again, look at the silhouette or the edges or the contours of the silhouette. He includes those lines and it's just fascinating. Um, and again, look at the way he blends everything together. I mean, and he, he's even showing a bit of the kind of internal, I was, I was going to say internal skeletons, but... <laughs> That's kind of being redundant. Um, yeah, he can... Uh, fuck, how does he do that? Mm. I, I, I do suggest you check out his YouTube channel because I think he does a lot of studies. I'm going to assume he does a lot of studies and somehow it just affects the way he paints. Uh, of, of course. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Um... And based on his kind of YouTube videos, he hardly photo bashes, which is uh, very, very interesting. And um, it, it kind of shows that not everything has to be photo bashed, you know. Because I'm still in that stage where um, I'm not confident enough in painting and I do rely too much on the photos. Now, using photos is not bad. It saves time. However, sometimes for me... The photos can often take charge of the design and, you know, that's, come on, I need to not do that, right? So here I think he's, well, <laughs> I think he's using a photo here, of course, but uh, for his kind of mechanical stuff, he kind of just makes it up as it goes and you'll see it in his work a lot. He'll have some kind of base and then he'll simply, 
Is he using 3D? I'm not so sure, but uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, so this one I think is more of his 3D work. Um, again, check out his YouTube channel. I'll include the thing. I'll, I'll include the links in the description. So, whatever. Again, he does love his, you know, sex dolls and stuff. Um, I look at the way he uh, does the kind of translucent um, effect in the kind of uh, skin. And again, he shows off those contour or gestural lines. And I also love the kind of flow of his forms. It's very... It's not exactly realistic, but it's very uh, gestural and almost animated and it looks way more dynamic than um some of the kind of things you see in the kind of i don't know art world um and yeah and it's also pretty good with the lighting stuff and the again with the kind of textural effects of the whole thing it's very cool um So let's uh <laughs> let's move on, okay? Okay, so there's just more of it. Okay, so this one it's it's kind of part Android, I guess. And again, I love the softness and he does include some hard edges, of course, cuz uh it wouldn't make sense if everything was just soft. But uh I love the, look at look at the way he uh, paints this. I think it's a boob. Now again, this is obviously some kind of android, so whatever. But uh, that is some. I'm not so sure if he did like a kind of a preliminary study, or he just kind of like, maybe he just maybe he's just I don't know a god. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, it's super cool. Um, the way he makes it... Ah, shit, what am I trying to say? There is some kind of realism in his work. And I know his work is kind of very exaggerated. But there is some real realism in his work. Um, is it the uh, lighting? The textures? <sighs> anyway. So this one is more of an environmental piece. Um, again... You know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna focus so much on his 3D work because that's not what I'm kind of in um, that's not what I'm working on at the moment I'm kind of working on my 2d skills but uh, yeah so you can see here he does have the R hard edges along with the soft kind of uh, gradients within those kind of uh, hard shapes and damn and he's pretty good at this kind of thing. Um, and again, those gestural lines. And yeah. Ooh, and these are kind of samples of his studies. He does a lot of these. Again, check out his YouTube channel. Um, I'm... Does he do this every day? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But uh, they look pretty good. Um, this is pretty cool. And look at the way he showed that line there. And his work is almost uh, sometimes it can look impressionistic, where he doesn't really go in and render every single thing. But then again, if you kind of zoom out, aha, uh -huh, that's cool. It looks pretty real. I mean, look at the way he showed the kind of armor of Iron Man here. The kind of different um, planes in his chest plate. That is cool. <laughs> uh, and again, you can see a lot of softness in his work, which is very, very interesting. And he, he's kind of good, well not kind of, he's good, he's great at the whole kind of drapery folds thing. 
Wow. That he added some texture to the jeans, which is very interesting. Did he photo bash? I'm not sure, but uh, look at the way he paints the body. It's very soft. And he likes to create that hard edge uh, right there in the where the kind of torso bends. That is cool. Um, nice. Look at those folds. And look at those hard edges in those folds. Right? Oh, he has a video of this piece and it's super cool. He starts out in the background and then works his way to this um, angel, I think. And this is more impressionistic because um, uh, usually even, even if he shows off his kind of gestural lines in the edges, he tends to render everything within that to a kind of fine level. But this time it's his kind of, uh, he, he does render some parts a little more, uh, say for the wings. Um, some parts of the, the these kinds of uh, accessories and stuff but uh, everything else is kind of painterly and this is super cool you know what I am going to drag this to the side because uh, I may make that my thumbnail um, and of course it's for my library and stuff oh shit Again, <laughs> excuse me, again, he uh, loves his kind of softness, uh, his soft brushes and stuff. Um. <laughs> and of course, it's very, uh, his work is very sexual. Um. Uh, ooh, what is this? So he did photo bash, but of course he, uh, he just used it as a kind of base and he he essentially took charge of the whole painting or most of the painting um oh excuse me this is um wow uh this kind of shows you that you can create something or design something uh, without having to constantly use photos because I've seen a lot of like um, design videos photoshop design concept art videos where they use photos to kind of photo bash say mech together and you know that's great if you're trying to save time sure and it does add a little more texture but I want to be able to do this first before I kind of jump in and uh be more photo bashy right let me just drag that to the side <laughs> that is so cool man i mean fuck so he's not just amazing at kind of soft stuff but also at kind of hard edged stuff um whoa it's kind of a mixture between organic and non-organic forms <laughs> So this guy is a genu genuine, oh bro, damn, fuck, uh, um, I suggest you kind of uh, download some of these images and use them as a kind of guide to see, um, well not just to inspire you but to kind of uh, help you s kind of determine what a good kind of sketch looks like. I mean, this is a sketch, I think. Yeah, it's a sketch. And again, I think what makes a good sketch, I, I read this somewhere. I think um, it's some kind of figure drawing guy. What makes a good sketch is the amount of sketchiness is kind of varied. Where a certain part, for example, this guy right here, this part is a little more rendered. And everything else is kind of uh, very impressionistic, let's say. Maybe focus, I don't know, on 20% of the subject and focus on rendering that part more. And then just kind of leave everything else to be 
kind of uh, filled up by the viewer because the viewer will kind of fill in the gaps, right? So, oh, wow. Let's drag this to the side. Uh, this is cool. Nice. So this guy is definitely a master at both the kind of soft stuff and the hard stuff. And I think that's kind of what I want to apply in my own work. And of course the kind of gestural beginnings or initial kind of sketches that he does. It's very gestural and it does make his work more dynamic I think. Um, those kind of initial sketches. And I also love the look in the end, you know, showing off those kind of sketch lines. Uh, yeah. Okay, pretty cool. Oof. Oof. So I will, I'm going to assume this is what he did first. And then he kind of created a painted version underneath or over it and then just kind of pulled it aside I think or maybe he started with this and then he did the line work on top uh, both ways work anyway so whatever <laughs> another Android piece and uh, um, can we zoom in whoa whoa I mean, look at that. Wow. So again, you can see those sketch lines in the edges and stuff. And you can see some of those hard edged surfaces mixed in with the kind of softness of the... <laughs> of this kind of Android thing. It just blends well together. And let me just drag this to the side. <laughs> Um, next so he, he does have a YouTube video of this um, piece now again uh, oh look at those knees damn um, wow did he photo I think he did kind of add a simple photo bash but um, for the kind of mechanical parts of this bike but wow, that is so cool. And I love the kind of pinch right there. And then he added that shadow in the bottom. Wow. <laughs> and those boobs are just drooping, man. Damn. Hmm. Okay, another Android piece. Um. Cool. Mm hmm and I'm going to assume this guy has a solid visual library for his kind of mechanical stuff because uh, you can if you look at if you look at his work he generally uh, has the same repeated forms he just kind of uh, uh, adjusts them for of course uh, the uh, the project the specific kind of project type um okay cool so hmm. oh he has an online class i think oh i love these thumbnails they're kind of enough to tell a story and um I also need to get good at doing thumbnails because um, I'm going to assume that fuck <laughs> I lost my train of thought there anyway oh cool stuff that is so cool and I love how he adds a few scratches here and there to kind of make it look more natural. 
and more kind of used up. <laughs> that is cool, man. Cyborg Angel. Okay. Oh, this is one of my first um, introductory pieces to Evan Lee's work. And I think I saw this in Pinterest or something. And I was so... Oh, come on. Look at that. It's kind of a mix of a mix of kind of sketchiness. You can see those lines. Some kind of impressionistic painting. Oh, look at all those forms, man. Wow. And I just love the kind of energy of his everything. Wow. Look at those folds. It's very suggestible and those details. Is that a kind of angel demon thing? And of course the ladies. Wow. Oh look at the lighting my oh sorry. Look at the lighting. I mean damn. <laughs> damn. Oh, they're in a pool. Um, wow, that is so cool. And again, look at the sketchiness of it. Oh, look at that kind of dash of light. Wow, dash of light here, a little bit here, a little bit here. Super well done. I mean, it's very inspirational. <laughs> look at this, pretty cool. Um, okay. Oh, I should, I should download the, uh, uh, of course, for references, right? Look at that mech. Damn. Oh, I love these. Again, he can blend. He, he, he is pretty good at blending the soft stuff. Some soft edges with some hard edges. And uh, I think this is what people or pros mean by mastering the uh, fundamentals. Um. Because if you break um, uh, Evan's work down, it's just a mix of hard and soft edges, right? Wow. That is cool. Super cool. Okay, so this one is obviously photo bashed. Um, from here to here. So it's a kind of a mech suit. Um, uh, <laughs> Oops, sorry. Oh, oh. So he's using some very simple brushes, um, I guess, for everything. Um, oh yeah, that's one more thing. He doesn't have a lot of brush variety say compared to the work of Craig, uh, no, well not Craig, Craig Mullins, right? He uses a lot of kind of simple uh, brushes for his work. So it's kind of cool to see that. Um, so this one is more fantasy stuff. Um, oh, I love the designs. Very interesting. Ooh, look at the armor. Um, let me just, uh, clean up my desktop on the side and do some dragging. Whoa. And of course, his kind of faces is very kind of, uh, it's, it leans more toward the kind of Asian, um, Eastern type of style, the kind of anime-ish style. Um, and these are pretty cool kind of thumbnail designs. Wow. You know, I think you have to be good at actually painting like uh, full figure stuff, like big kind of illustrations before you can do kind of legit nice looking thumbnails, I think. Because, uh... I don't know, that's just me. 
that, that that's what I feel is kind of more natural. Um, whoa, look at these. So I think the brushes do have some kind of opacity, I think, some slight opacity, and uh, that is some cool stuff, man. Drag. Love it. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I think I already did drag this to the side. Yeah, he does have videos of his kind of a uh, process of this piece. By the way, I do recommend you do download uh, these kinds of things so you can have a uh, you can have a reference of uh, of what makes a good say uh, thumbnail design sketch. Um, so this one is more of an environmental piece. It doesn't do a lot of environments. Um, maybe a few keyframe stuff, um, but he doesn't generally design environments. He's more focused on chicks, uh, mechs, and theme-wise, it's kind of a, uh, a split between sci-fi stuff and uh, fantasy. And he leans heavily on the sci-fi stuff. I'll keep this. Although the boobs are kind of off, man. Um... Wow, so this one I would think is something you would see in a keyframe. So it is a photo study painting of the film The Shape of Water. Okay, so it's just a study. Um, but yeah, I think this would look great in a kind of keyframe um, painting for a film. Um, So this one is a painting, a, a photo study painting of the terror. Well, I'm not familiar with the film, but uh, fuck, download. Um, again, some Android stuff here and there. So yeah, he has a kind of basic line art, and then an under color base. And then he starts painting on top, and then eventually you get something like this. <laughs> Dildo? Monster cock. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, look at those lines. Wow. Wow. That kind of mix between the mechanical stuff. I mean, she's also an, she is an android, but she does have that kind of... <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> she does have that kind of soft textured skin. It's kind of like a whatever. Um Ooh, I love the hair. Mm. Wow, look at all of these stuff. I think he paints most of it. Wow, that is cool. Wait, did I download it? <laughs> I need to download it. Oh, I did. Uh, cancel. Let me just open it on a new tab. To be safe. So yeah, he has a lot of kind of... Uh, they're kind of tutorials, I guess. Because you can see the process of his painting. And he paints all sorts of things. Um... He's kind of practicing between his kind of human forms and or portraits and also some kind of a like texture work and you can definitely see it in his work wow look, look at that bird or falcon the uh, kind of african elephant damn look at that look at the wrinkles Again, it looks real at the same time. It looks sketchy, which is super, very cool. <laughs> I mean, right? Ah, 
Fuck. Happy feet. <laughs> Ooh. I like the way he kind of uh, blurred the kind of uh, uh, neck. And then there's this kind of focus on the face. Wow. And you can even see some of his sketch marks. Wow. Awesome, man. Gosh, he actually painted all of these kind of uh, little uh, skin stuff. Very cool. Oh. And he can also suggest kind of fur, which is nice. <laughs> and again, you can see his kind of sketchy, kind of gestural lines. Wow. Uh, oof. Now this is a great practice for his kind of a uh, gradient work, so kind of soft brush work. <laughs> so yeah, check out his uh, videos. Kinky. Okay. Um, so this is kind of a process thing. So I don't see any sketch lines though. So he started with a very soft brush and then he just kind of uh, builds his way up and then starts defining those edges. Very interesting. He usually does have some kind of line work in the beginning, but uh, wow. Again, another Android. Whoa. Adias. Okay. Mm. Open image in new tab. Okay. Okay, this is another Android thing. Sex doll ish thing. Wow, there are a lot of ads, IHOP and stuff. Kind of stickers. Very interesting. Look at the look at those soft kind of brushes. And the edges aren't as defined. And as he goes through his process, he eventually cleans up those edges. Even here it looks kind of a dirty or not as clean. And then eventually he uh Yeah, that is cool. Okay, let me open this in new tab. <laughs> Oof, so this is more of a fantasy kind of piece. Oh, look at those knees. That is nice. So he does show his process for some kind of uh, facial features, like the eyes and the mouth. Wow, look at that. Let me just drag that to the... Oh, shit. Open image new tab. Um, damn, that is so cool. Oops, sorry. Open image new tab. And look at that dragon. Wow, look at all those textures right there. <laughs> Very interesting. And I love the way he kind of paints fat. His stuff looks more natural. Because um, sometimes if you uh, check a lot of kind of character designs um, and they do show a bit of skin, uh, there are a lot of uh, pieces out there that are kind of stiff. And it just doesn't translate to uh, being natural. But for Evan's work, I mean, you can see it. There is fat, and it's kind of cool. And it looks more realistic in that way. Damn. So I think this is Evan. Wow, he's kind of buff. Whoa, I should start working out. Um, Open image, a new tab. Damn it, I just opened image and you tap. 
<laughs> He's got them ladies. Okay. So I think this is some kind of fan art? Or no. Yep. Cool stuff. Next. Oh, look at that dragon right there. Wow, look at all those kind of reptilian kind of uh, tick, 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 things. Very interesting. So again, this is more of a fantasy piece. Um, and yeah, the moment you zoom in, he does show some snapshots of the kind of... Uh, it's very um, impressionistic. I think it's because he, he just spends more time and so it eventually becomes or looks realistic. I'm going to drag or open image a new tab. Um, okay. Okay, another fantasy piece. Uh, I think this is a game, Legend of the Cryptids. <laughs> I'm not so sure. Um, so this could be some kind of cover art or something. And yeah, this one looks a little more finished. But he does show that sketch line in a few areas. So more portrait studies. Yep. <laughs> Fantasy stuff, obviously. Wow. So it's... I think he adds sometimes these sketch lines after. I mean, look at it's very soft here, and then eventually it harden it hardens up, right? Open image. That is some amazing shit right there. Oof. That is cool. Again, he starts off with a very kind of... It's a blurred kind of soft brush. Soft, fine brush. And then he eventually hardens up those edges. And then, yeah, I can see it. Okay. Wow. Fuck, man. Yep, very soft, sketchy sketch with a soft, fine brush in the beginning. And eventually, um, step by step, it kind of just appears. <laughs> oh, uh, this is his website, I think. Um, ah, wow. Look at that. So this one is another fantasy piece. Now, this is a kind of fairy and this is some kind of knight. And damn, that's, come on. <laughs> uh, let's, oh, okay. Oh, shit, damn it, Dave. Uh, damn it. All right, so initial sketch, very, uh, a small, fine, soft brush. Kind of soft brush, and then he adds some kind of a uh, kind of wash with more of a soft brush um yeah okay and then he starts using some kind of uh, kind of hard edged brushes it's kind of a kind of broad flat brush okay ah oh, jesus and then he just Kind of repeats that uh, previous step by adding more hard edges. Oh god, that is so beautiful to the eyes. Mm. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. 
so this one is more of a sci-fi piece obviously it's kind of a oh shit it's kind of an intergalactic thing Ooh. okay not bad not bad so this one is more sci-fi yep it is sci-fi so we have some kind of um robotic kind of snake here and it's a kind of this one looks more like a keyframe and you know i actually uh, i am interested in doing more keyframe stuff eventually um because i do have i do want to work eventually in films um and i would love to kind of contribute to a uh, um to a film <laughs> through keyframes i think that would be cool because i'm i don't think i'm going to do a lot of designing maybe a little bit but i'm going to probably do more of uh, of the storytelling side because i feel that's where i can shine <laughs> this is awesome um sci-fi piece so for this one he actually uh, painted a dude and uh, pretty cool so yeah um, <sighs> oof okay so this is some kind of fight scene with is that North Korea it is damn the he does use a lot of layers he's not very organized <laughs> in terms of his layers as you can see but uh hey there is no kind of right way of painting you know and uh yes Ooh, very interesting okay Again, he doesn't actually do a lot of environments. Well, he did add this Android, but uh, yeah, he doesn't do a lot of environments. So this is kind of rare to see. Hmm. League of Legends. Okay. So this is more... Hmm. Okay. <laughs> wow, that is some cool line work there. And then he just painted? Or maybe this is some kind of 3D thing. I mean... Did he paint this? Maybe. So th these ones are more cartoony and uh kind of animated um same for this one um i'm actually not a, a big fan of cartoony stuff i mean i like watching you know disney films and everything but uh, when it comes to painting mm, not really my thing not really my thing oh i love these open image and new tab so these are some kind of weapon designs and stuff. What is this? Oh, so it's a mixture of... Well, I think it's sci-fi. Wow. So this is some kind of mech. I think this is the foot. And this is some kind of kaiju. Nice. Again, this would look great as a keyframe in the film. Whoa, would you look at that? Did he use 3D? I don't think so. I mean, we're talking about Evan Lee here. Fuck my life. Now, I want to be able to do this, but I'm afraid. Because uh, I don't want to be known or be the type of person that does designs 
again i want to do more storytelling stuff but i also want to be able to do it you know because uh you know if it pays <laughs> then i'll do it but uh of course i want to Ah, fuck. Okay. So this one is an environment. Okay, so he does do, from time to time, environments. So we, he has a kind of initial sketch, a very rough sketch. And then he does some flats. And within those kind of flats, he adds a few photos to kind of help fill in those... Um, intricate gaps and then he starts painting on top of it and then eventually he uh, um, gets something to this level not bad <clears throat> who again another kind of design sheet it's kind of ooh, let's say um, aircraft carrier platform right there I think Wow, that is some very interesting shit. And again, awesome designs. So this guy can technically do designs, keyframes, um, kind of mechs, women, sci-fi, fantasy. Okay, I mean, with this amount of skill, I mean, he probably gets paid well. Um, or he can ask for kind of a higher price. What is that? <laughs> Open image and new tab. So we've got a pirate chick here. Yeah, it's very dynamic though. Whoa, I, I love the close-up of the hand right there. Nice. Um, although this piece is starting to look kind of flat. Like, I feel like this chick is a little closer, more closer to us than this thing. But this thing is kind of, it feels closer as well. So, maybe this should be a little bit in the back, I think. <laughs> so yeah whoa would you look at that I love the way he painted the uh, water or suggested the water wow oh sorry about that so he does have a painting process of this okay very interesting I love that back right there So this one is more fantasy, uh, it's a fantasy kind of uh, oriented piece. Is she licking something off of her? Oh, maybe this fairy thing, maybe, is kind of made of flowers. And then, hey. And I love the softness of your skin. And it's also pretty good with kind of uh, lighting up certain parts. Here we got. In the head, in the kind of this boob, and then this leg. And even right here, in the quads of this one, a bit of light there. And even in the back, what the fuck? And it's pretty good with the kind of crease stuff, kind of uh, the hard edged along with the soft kind of uh, thing. It's pretty good at kind of separating um, those parts. Very interesting. Now this one is more... Hmm, I don't know. It's kind of a book. It almost feels like a book cover. I like it. So this one is kind of skewed, skewed. Um, so this one... It's nice. But uh, again, I think this could be, or this may be something for a comic, or a graphic novel or something. Um, still cool. 
Wow. Let's kind of zoom in on this piece. So it's a mech and it's kind of piloted perhaps by a guy or this guy is a kind of guard on top and then right below wow it's a chick taking a bath and look at the it's very impressionistic but it tells the story and as much as his kind of designs are cool you know his mech stuff and his android kind of babes sex dolls he's also a pretty good kind of storyteller like he doesn't need much to uh tell a story right i mean that is so cool man very inspirational this one's very sketchy but i like it um okay this one is more of a design sheet thing cool um, same for this. Um, oh, I wasn't going to download that. Ooh. What is that thing? So this is a kind of... Oh, she owns this thing? Maybe this is kind of her... Maybe she commands this kind of creature dragon mech thing. And then she is... Whoa, ho, ho. Oh, I love the way she uh, painted the kind of V, uh, the V thing uh, that separates the the legs from the crotch, and I love that natural belly button right there, and the kind of separation of the these abs from the kind of obliques right there. Let's let's zoom in, right? Wow, see that that kind of cut right here. Separating the abs from the oblique. Okay, this is kind of a not safe for work. So we'll just stop. Right. That's good enough. And again, you can see some of those kind of uh, sketchy lines in the edges. Did he add it before or after? I'm not sure, but it uh, looks cool. Oh. <laughs> Wow, he likes drawing butts and boobs, which I respect. Um, so this could be some kind of um, oh, it's an older piece of his. Yeah, I can say, I can agree with that because um, he's way better now. I mean, this is this is already pretty good. Um, but if you see his kind of recent work, he's like even better now. So this is a kind of environmental piece, environment concept. Um, I'm not sure when, when, oh, this was posted five years ago. Oh, shit. Wow. So we're going way, way back. Nice. Oh, I love this hand right here. Wow. The kind of fat and fold in the skin. And look at that belly button. Well done. And again, those kind of bits of light. Very interesting. Uh, so I think I'm going to stop the video in like, um, I'm going to limit my art reviews to an R because the last one I did uh, with Anthony Jones um, reviewing his work, uh, I think it it lasted for like an hour and 40 something minutes and the rendering just took so long and whenever I render with Camtasia, I can't use Photoshop or Photoshop will start to lag. So I have to be uh, very wary of long videos because, um, oh, ho, ho, ho. nice again. Look at that kind of a uh, shadow right there. Belly button, nice amount of fat, natural fat, nice boobs. Um, it kind of hurt. Oh, uh, this is kind of. Of course, it's unrealistic, but uh, um, it kind of presses in and it looks more natural that way. Hmm. Nice. 
this is pretty cool i'll save this so, so let's uh take a look at his work so he has a lot of work and uh and his style is pretty uh consistent and i think he has a very good process that he uh kind of relies on and i think this guy is pretty established already and i think this is a he, he's kind of a good example of what we can achieve by mastering the uh, fundamentals of the soft versus hard edged um, brush strokes and also the kind of impressionistic stuff with the sketchy lines and the kind of wash kind of soft washes onto the kind of hard edged brushes and then eventually just continuing that process until you get something that's more finished and of course his storytelling is pretty cool um kind of key frame, key frame stuff or if you master a good enough process you can do some designs as well as some really good keyframes for films. So I think this guy is awesome. <laughs> so I think we'll end the video there and I hope you check his um, website and his art station out. Um, and also subscribe to his um, YouTube channel. It's a pretty good channel. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoy and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next uh, following videos. Stay safe. Stay free.